Hi, and welcome to Mustachas channel. My name is Peter, and today I'll be your host. In the next series of videos, I'm going to do a tutorial on how to use the best chess software out there. And this is, of course, German chess base. Well, I'm still using the old version, version uh, 13. But I believe there is already 16 out there. So if you're considered buying, and probably you're going to take one of the newest, 15 or 16. Um, I'm happy with Chessbase 13. Uh, it's good for my everyday use. Mm. And yeah, in the first tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a database and how to save a game. Let's dive into it. So first, to create a Chessbase database, you want to go on File, New, Database, and now you just select a directory where you want to save it. Uh, let's say we're going to go into just um, base and my work. And here, what you wanted to do is to change the database ending and we're going to save it as the PGN. Um, of course, there are plenty of options in databases, which is uh, just base CBH. Uh, file, it's not so easy to transfer. So I really recommend you to choose simply PGN. Uh, what do you want to do next is simply to name, let's say if we're going to be saving our games, uh, we're going to go my games. I have it already. Create new, let's change it and delete the old version. All right. And here we have it. Now, this is a new database that we just created. If we open it up, you can see it's completely empty. We haven't really saved anything in there. So now what you wanted to do is go on board. Let's say you already have played your game and now you just want to save it. You put in your moves. And here you can also, uh, with a double click, you can put in a comment, let's say I'll just type in the, the, the name of the opening. Uh, by the way, this is called Evans Gambit. Um, of course, there are plenty of different tools what you can do here. Um, let's say the annotation, we can put here an exclamation with a question mark, which in chess means uh, an interesting move. Of course, there are sidelines like this. You can uh, choose a different line and then just simply click on a new variation. It will kind of fold it to the main variation and uh, just keep the, the, the other variations uh, uh, like this in the brackets. And even in the variation, you can, you can choose a side variation, which then makes it kind of a, a curved. Um, yeah. Basically, this is how you're entering the moves. And let's say we're happy with that for now. Now, how do you save it? You click on the file, go save game as. You want to search for the new database that you just created. So in this case, we said uh, my games, open it up. And here you want to type in who was playing this game. Let's say I was playing with white pieces. That's my last name and uh, first name. And we're also going to put in uh, Miss Laniao, who created so many great um, chess videos on chess history. Uh, tournament, we'll just place chess base. Tutorial, chess base. What? Chess base, tutorial. All right, this echo code, uh, it's automatic. Um, basically what it means, every variation has its own echo code. Here, uh, Evans Gabbit actually has this C51. Doesn't really matter all that much. Let's say I won the game. Uh, it was played to date. We can leave all these dates checked. Then my rating, that's 2300. And I believe Miss Yawan, she also has around 2300. We're gonna give her a little bit more, 2350, for instance. Round one and so on. Okay, here what I usually do um, when I 
comment and analyze the games. I also uh, put my signature signature basically in, in here in the field of annotator. Let's say in this case, we're just gonna put Mr. Chess, the, na the same name as our channel. And there we go. The game is saved. Now you can close it and search for it here. If you open it up, voila, it's here. Of course, there are plenty of different tools that you can use. Uh, for instance, if you want to insert a diagram, for instance, in a specific moment, you can go here and insert and click on diagram, which means now if you're ever going to print this game, uh, let's say we go print, it's going to be here. It's a very nice and useful feature. All right, but we don't want to print now. What else can we do with our game? Um, obviously, if if we want to analyze, then we're going to need some assistance. And this is here in the opening book. So stay tuned. In the next tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create an opening book. If you want to see more content, don't hesitate to subscribe and click that like button. Bye bye.